Hi, this is Little Dwarf playing games while rumbling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because I can, and I continue with Kingdom Come Deliverance, blind. Uh, now, last time, I found out this burned out hamlet, uh, which has been attacked by bandits, seemingly... No, wait, that's not here. That's where I need to go. Uh, I'm currently over here. Uh, seemingly attacked by bandits, uh... Uh, doing do, doing the work of one yeah. uh, uh, Hagen Zul, who seems to bear a grudge against Serazik for some supposed crimes yeah. that Serazik has committed against his house. So I am yeah. going to go uh, go to Serazik and question him about that. I don't want to advance the main quest if I can help it. Because I have a bajillion of side quests, which I would much rather do first. Okay, this is the mill in Merhoyer, which is right here. Um, uh, yeah, I would much rather do the side quest first. So I'll try to avoid the topic of... Uh, the topic of the main quest with Serazik, if I can. Yeah, there is like a like an encampment. Mm, okay, can I transfer anything to my horse? Well, Serazic. God be with you, Henry. Congratulations on winning the tournament. I'm proud of you. Mm, I don't want to talk about the events in Merho yet. yet. I, got, uh, I guess bad news is about Sir Kuno, I assume. Sir, I'm afraid I have some bad news. We came across a burnt-out farm near Merho yet. Christ! It seems Pribislavitz wasn't the end of it. Now this is something else, sir. We found a shield there with a crest. A tricolour star on a blue field. I know that coat of arms, unfortunately. It's the house of Zul. There was a letter there, too. Show it to me. Although I think I already know what it will say. Here you are, sir. Unscrupulous beast. Mm -hmm. Cruelty and malevolence. Uh -huh. I challenge you to face me in a duel. Defend your honor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anonymous wretch. Well, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Signed, Hagen Zul. As I expected... Old grievances coming back to haunt me. What happened between you and Sir Hagen? That's a long story. Well, I'd like to hear the whole story, sir, if you wouldn't mind. Very well. It began in the first year of King Wenceslas's reign. He sent me to resolve a dispute between the Zuls and a neighboring house. It concerned land boundaries. The Zuls had refused to accept the ruling of the land court. His Majesty's position was a little shaky after his coronation. So a decision was made in the royal court to take radical action against any dissent in the kingdom. Since the Zul family was defying the king, we were obliged to punish them. Harshly, as the circumstances demanded. The head of the family, Hagen's father, was hanged. Their castle razed to the ground and their property confiscated. So, they're out for vengeance. But you acted according to the law. Would it were that simple, lad? I was young and didn't realize the repercussions it would bring. For one thing, the king didn't use it to strengthen his position. On the contrary, he took less and less interest in such affairs. How come? Because he realized things would eventually sort themselves out. He promoted me to royal hetman leaving him to pursue other interests. Secondly, my actions essentially created another band of robbers. When you strip a nobleman of his property, you can't expect him to take to begging. And thirdly, I wasn't aware at the time that the other party to the dispute was distantly related to me. Naturally, that made it look like I was acting in self-interest. If I'd known what I know today, 
I'd have been a lot more circumspect. Mr. Hagen wants to challenge you to a duel. Apparently, he still hopes I will agree to this kind of outmoded solution to disputes. But surely you can't refuse a challenge to a duel. What about your honor? Henry, my boy, honor is a splendid thing, and it should be held in high regard. But in time, you'll learn that some matters are not so straightforward. Like this one? Yes, like this one. The only reason Hagen is challenging me now is that he has a marked advantage. I've served as the royal hetman for the last 15 years and become a courtier. Hagen, meanwhile, was fighting in the Margraviate Wars in Moravia and elsewhere as a mercenary. Which of us do you think would win a duel? That's not honor, but an abuse of honor. Commonplace opportunism. I don't blame him for trying, but I'm not such a fool as to play by his rules. Well, I could though. One on one. I'm actually pretty confident because the repost is, is basically a I win button. Like, I think the repost is actually overpowered. And one on one, it's pretty easy to counter your enemy. Well, what are we going to do about this? You and Kuno's band will just have to deal with Hagen and prevent further mayhem. The longer he's marauding around these parts, the greater the chances that I'll finally have to succumb to his conditions. So you'd fight him, if it came to that? Let's hope it doesn't come to that. But maybe there's something else behind this challenge. Maybe it's coin he's after. Who knows? All right. We'll deal with him, sir. I'm sure you will, Henry. I'd like to ask something about this Sir Hagen. Sure. Mm, okay, I asked that already. See you later. <laughs> Uh, meet with Kuno in the encampment. Okay. Let's do that indeed. Mm, it's a pity there's no blacksmith at Talmberg. Because they have a bajillion of things? Oh, but there's a DLC quest in Talmberg, apparently. Uh, sure, I might pick it up. I, I think I will. Yeah. Because I am pretty close. Mm, and I would like to devote a couple of next hours solely to doing side quests. Because uh, I have plenty of them at this point. God save you. Master Huntsman, is there any work for me here? There's always something that needs doing. You're that Scullet's lad, aren't you? Sir Radzig's lackey. Sir Radzig is my liege, and I serve him faithfully. But that doesn't make me a lackey. As you wish. What matters to me is that you're no layabout looking for easy work. I have a job here I can't give to just anyone. I'm listening. We've been having terrible problems with poachers lately. In Sir Divish's forests, we've been finding gutted entrails of deer and rabbit nooses all over the place. But no sign of the bastards who put them there. And you want me to track down the poachers? Indeed. Whatever you learn will be useful to me. Do you suspect anyone? Well, it's hard to say. But seeing how much harm they're causing, I'd say they're no crofters looking for a Sunday roast. Shouldn't you be dealing with the poachers yourself? I should, I should, you're quite right. But when I ask the local folk anything, their mouths close up like clams. They're more scared of me than the devil. Do you think the locals are in on it? Well, I don't know, maybe. But even if not, they'll never talk to me. They're scared I'll dig some skeleton out of their cupboard. You know, the smaller the village, the bigger the secrets. That's why I need an outsider to ask for me. I understand. I'll try to find out something about them. Any advice about where to start? Certainly. Ask around the village. Somebody must have seen or heard something. 
And it wouldn't hurt to ask in the Inn in the Glade, the one on the road towards Neuhof. I've heard they serve good venison, and no shortage of it. That's clear enough. As soon as I hear anything, I'll let you know. Thanks for your help, lad. Okay, so it's nice that they came here, after all. Be with you. Uh, what would you buy? Hmm, but you only have 200 coin. Uh, you have a joy of getting number one, which is a book on hunting, which I could read, so I am going to buy that, and another treasure map, which is also quite great. Let's talk about the price. Well, we can try it. Very well, I agree. Look out! Okay, but there's also uh, further quests um, at the castle of Talmberg, so I will visit that as well. Let's take a look at those treasure maps. Maybe one of them is near here. Treasure map 4. Uh, Ledechko. Okay, so it's like near a mine. Uh, hmm. Okay. And how about this? Talmberg. Mm. There's a pond with the bath. And on the other side of the pond... Uh, This one. Uh, hmm. Okay, okay, uh, okay. This is certainly doable and it's actually pretty close. I will look for it very shortly. Greetings. What do you need? I'd like to find out about the poachers around here who've been stealing game recently. If you ask me, there's some questions best left unanswered. But go and see Elena if you're determined. That old gossip will tell you all there is to know. Goodbye. Hmm. Okay. God grant you health. How may I help you? I'd like to find out about the poachers around here who've been stealing game recently. If you ask me, there's some questions best left unanswered. Okay, so she just repeats the same thing. I will, however, uh, ask the innkeeper about, like, general gossip. I'm at your service tonight. What do you think about all the poaching lately? What should I be thinking? If they ever catch them, Sir Divish will have them skinned alive. But for that to happen, our master huntsman would have to be made of sterner stuff. Do you think Nicholas isn't doing enough? A master huntsman who lets poachers run wild through his woods? He's useless. He couldn't even stop them hanging a stag's head on his own house. Right. Thank you, innkeeper. I'll be going. How are the Talmberg folk getting on? Is it peaceful here? Do you even have to ask? You're that lad from Scallets, ain't you? It is you, ain't it? Well, you ought to ask folk in Rodna how they're doing. Some of them come here for an ale now and again, and they don't look too happy. Hmm. So they yeah, came back to Rovna then. There, there, there's a relatively unburned church. Right there, I will check it out. Uh, also, let me do some gambling. I 
I'm at your service, Sir Knight. You up for a throw or two? Just for fun. At this point, it's it's more fun than profit. Why, oh why, did I ever agree to this? I'll lose my shirt again. Eh? Well, uh, I'm playing risky because I don't really care. If I lose a hundred groschen, that's really not that big that's of a deal it. at this point. God's holy hat! If I was in your shoes, I'd pass while the going's good. Oh, that's... Come on. I shouldn't have rolled. I, I shouldn't have rolled again. Uh, that's that's definitely pushing it. Hmm. Your turn. You're lucky. Too damn lucky for my taste. I'll be keeping a close eye on you. Well, I guess technically I am using weighted dice because I'm not sure about this one. It doesn't specifically say it's weighted, but one of them is this one. Load it in favor of odd numbers. So I am cheating. Uh, I wonder if I wonder if they can catch me. Mm, okay, I will go to the castle mm, and see what that what that DLC quest is about.
Greetings. What business have you? Can I be of service to you, Sir Divish? I've heard talk that something is going on in Pribis Lovitz. Henry, you've come at just the right moment. I sent a man to Pribis Lovitz, my locator, Marius. What's a locator? A land allocator. I charged him with checking on the condition of the settlement to see if we can start rebuilding it. You're planning to resettle the village? Yes. Why Pribis Lovitz of all places? Because it's been lying fallow and falling into ruin since it was sacked by Havel Medic years ago. It's about time that changed. Well, it should be safe there now. We trounced that rabble on the battlefield. Yes, and that's why I sent my master locator there. However, he should have been back long since. If you've no objection, I could go and look for him. I'd appreciate that. He probably just got delayed. But I'd be happier if you checked it out. Goodbye. Okay, I will. I, I am going to Rovna anyway. Mm. And then I guess to Skalitz because I was tasked by uh, Sir Radzik to check out the uh, check out the mines uh, in Skalitz. I will wait until the morning. I'll read mm, and then sleep here. My respects to you. Oh, I have some bandit trophies, right? I have some trophies. Show me. They deserved it, the bastards. I can train a little. I have a lot of money. Can you teach me how to defend myself better in combat? Me teach you. But you already know everything. Hmm, okay. I guess I have defense 20. I'd like to get better at fighting with a mace. Certainly. I'm interested in more advanced techniques. All right, but it'll cost you. Isn't that quite a lot? Is this enough? That's not enough. Agreed. Now, listen up. I'd like to get better at fighting with a mace. Certainly. I'd like to hone my skills. First, you have to have some skills to hone. I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it will cost you. Now, pay close attention. I'd like to get better at fighting with a mace. Certainly. I'd like to hone my skills. First, you have to have some skills to hone. Well, I'll think it over. Okay. Uh, it would be good if I managed to meet the trader here. He doesn't have a lot of money, but it's better than nothing. I think he lives right here. Um, I guess it's, it's too early in the day for him. Um, I, guess, I guess I'll ride out uh, and talk with the blacksmith uh, in the quarry. Yeah. Mm, he should have some money on him as well. Yeah. 
Oh, but, 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 but there's a gossiping woman I'm supposed to... Um, okay, so, so she's at the other side of the bathhouse, which just happens to be here. And to be honest, on the other side of the bathhouse is also where the treasure is supposed to be, right? So it's, it's doubly a good idea to go and check that place. Hey, who's there? What's up? Do you need some help? What are you up to here? Get out of here or I'll call the guards on you. Or something. Here. God's blessing. What can I do for you? Take care. Mm, okay, I have that treasure map already, right? So there's... How much... Oh, he only has 50 gold. <laughs> Uh, or rather, Groshen. That's kind of bad. Can we trade? If you've got the coin. Take care. Oh well, he's not going to be of much help. I guess she isn't here. She's probably just asleep. God preserve you. Good night. Can I do something for you? I heard there are poachers in the woods round here. If only if it was just poachers. It's that sorcerer hair. He's the one who's been running amok. I said he'd be back and I said he'd be vengeful. And I was right both times. Tell me something about Hannikin Hare. Ah, that was all years ago. He turned up here one day. No one rightly knew where from. He claimed up at the castle to be a nobleman's son, and so he got the office of Master Huntsman, and Margaret was promised him for his wife. Nobody could have known he was a sorcerer. How did it go with Margaret? I'm not one to gossip. But she was a flighty lass in her younger years. She could never make up her mind which one she wanted, the hare or Nicholas. So in the end, fate decided for her. What do you mean? What happened with hare? Oh, that was quite something. And then some on top of it. Sir Henry of Lipo was visiting here at the castle, and hare snapped his guardman's neck with his bare hands. Of course, they found him out. But how do you keep a sorcerer under lock and key? You can't. That's your answer. And that Satan spawn slipped the net. Oh, well. It's quite a wild story. And how did his sorcery reveal itself? Well, he was able to vanish into thin air in the forest right in front of folk. And I've heard it said he spoke to animals, too. Though I don't know the truth of it. That doesn't sound very convincing to me. That's because you've not seen his marksmanship. It wasn't natural, the things he could do with that bow of his. They say he sold his soul for the gift of it. I see. Was he actually seen killing the guardsman? I suppose so. Else they'd hardly know who did it, would they? Hmm. That's probably true. Any idea why he murdered the man? No one knows, and most likely never will. But they say he was fully in the devil's power. There was a full moon, you see. There is one other thing I want to ask. Has anyone actually seen this hammock in here? He seems to exist only as a bogeyman to frighten naughty children. Oh, he exists all right, but he flits around in the forest like a shadow. They won't be catching him any time soon, but Blacksmith's Betty heard some of their goings-on in the woods. Goings-on? What's that supposed to mean? Cavorting and raising hell. 
sorcery. Hare meets up with his sorcerer's apprentices, and they feast in the clearing in the woods. In the morning, they turn into ravens and scatter, or so she says. But you'll have to ask Betty for more. Who knows what she saw? Or what she was doing there with them. Very well. I'll ask. Who does Hare want revenge on? Master Huntsman Nicholas, of course. When the Hare disappeared, Nicholas took his Margaret and the Huntsman's posting. So Nicholas came out of it well. That one always knew how to land on his feet. Hmm. So did he frame the guy? Because she said... Like, she wasn't sure whether someone, someone actually saw Hanekin Hare kill that guardsman. And obviously, right afterwards, uh, Huntsman Nicholas took his job and his wife on top of that. So he's pl he has plenty of reasons to, 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 to want Hanekin Hare, like, exiled or executed. Mm, he, came, uh, he came out pretty well out of that. Thanks. I think I know all I need. Good luck, then. Uh, so where is Blacksmith's Betty, then? Uh, check out the inn in the glade. Hmm. Is there a blacksmith in the village? Well, I'll check soon. But first... Mm, there is supposedly a treasure this way. Yeah, like, like it's it's ri the right hand of the stream that goes out from the lake, and there's a deer icon, which I would suspect implies a deer hunting spot. Okay, that's. Hey, get out of here! This is no place for the likes of you. That's surely a poacher. Interesting sight. Get out of here! Mm, could you tell me anything about? Hmm, I guess he's not particularly talkative. Uh, hmm, it might not be enough of a way uh, upstream, so I will uh, return to the stream and go a little bit more uh, upstream. Because the map specifically uh, it's it's like out of the forest, I think, at this point. Uh, so it should be somewhere like in the clearing here, as opposed to uh, as opposed to the forest proper. Okay, there's a mine shaft. Hmm. 
seemingly nothing in it though. Just a collapsed one. Hmm. But wait. Uh, technically speaking, the game seems to think I'm actually out of the forest already, which by this point I'm like very much upstream. Uh, I, I think too much actually. Uh, compared to compared to this um, because this is not that far up uh, like um, it's only it's only a little bit mm, mm, upstream and uh, I'm a bit confu confused about like uh, the the fact that there are no seemingly no uh, uh, what, is, what do I even mean? No, like no trees on the map in that spot, mm, and yet, mm, and yet, uh, on the actual uh, world map, like. The, the trees go alongside the stream all the time like it's it's very I'm very clearly in the forest even being right here but uh, but I think it should be somewhere earlier uh, judging by its position on the map And I, I think the uh, I think the deer on the map would indicate like a deer hunting spot uh, or something. The, there was also this poacher camp uh, right here, which was kind of promising, uh, but you know, apart apart from the poacher himself. There seemingly was not much happening there. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Is it this location? I think so. I, I doubt this is going to be the treasure. I think this is just the personal chest of that poacher. Mm. Hmm. Although, wait, it is the treasure. Uh, I think, because th those are pretty, uh, those are pretty expensive items. Mm, okay, that's that's a that's a potion for night vision. Uh, that's actually pretty cool. Sure, I am, I am, I am taking that. Is this even the same camp? Where is the poacher? Like, he, he was pretty possessive of his territory. Uh, okay, I'm not sure, but I am glad I... I am glad I... Um, glad I found that. Okay, so let's let's look around for blacksmith's Betty uh, in town over here.
What was that? to your clothes if you were robbed you should report it i've got a few questions about these poachers so ask what do you make of this poaching that's been going on it's clear as day hannikin hair's back and putting those antlers on nicholas's house well we all know what that means don't we it's the sign of a cuckold you mark my words oh okay <laughs> I didn't I didn't really think of that but if that Hanekin hair guy is uh, shagging Nicholas's Nicholas's wife uh, while still you know being banished and and hunting around the forest that's actually quite a power move uh... do you think hair really killed that man who knows the truth of it now I did find it all a bit odd hair never was much of a hothead but then again, no one really knew him that well. And Margaret never wanted to speak of it. Wouldn't hear a word about it. So what went on between her and the Huntsman? Those two? There was no love lost between them from the moment her arrived. And then Margaret got involved. It was a messy business. So what's the story between her and Margaret? It was complicated. He wanted her and she wanted him too, I reckon, at least for a while. But then she hitched up with Nicholas and now she says she never had a thought of wedding Hannikin Hare. Who's this Hannikin Hare, anyway? Hannikin Hare? There was a time he was master huntsman here and Margaret was set to be his wife. But then he got himself accused of murder and fled before they could hang him. Margaret and his job both ended up going to Nicholas. You're the first who's certain of Hare's return. So far, I've just heard vague rumours. Well, now, I wouldn't say I'm completely sure. I suppose some other mischief maker could have done it. But better the devil you know. And everyone hereabouts knows Hare. Stop trying to wriggle out of it. Do you realise who I am? Um, not really. But you know who Radzig Cobbler is, right? Of course. I'm his right-hand man, and I'm helping the huntsmen catch the poachers. So, I'm not someone you should be messing around. All right, I'll tell you what I know. But promise not to tell Nicholas I said it. I'll do what I can, but I need to let him know what I discover. So, out with it. It's to do with Margaret, his wife. They say it's all because of her. Keep going. I know full well Hare's here, because Margaret admitted as much. What did she tell you? That he waited in the woods till she came by and they exchanged some words. Words was all she told me. Who knows what they actually got up to. And what did they speak about? I don't know. But if Nicholas knew they'd met, he'd most likely kill her. You're sure she wasn't saying it in jest? Oh, no. Margaret wouldn't joke about something like that. You mean to say his wife's cheating on him? All I'm saying is she might be feeling the urge. It happens in the best of families. That's all I need. Thanks. Goodbye. Okay, so let's hey, go. Hey, what the? Clear off before I call Captain. Let's go back to the huntsman then. <laughs> yeah. 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 
Wait, he, he, his wife, does, does she work at the inn or what? Like, I thought she would be at his house. Uh, and so I, that's why I went straight here. going out into the woods right now to meet him or something? Oh, she seems to be going with water. God's blessings. I'd like to ask you about Hannikin hair. I'm sorry, but I really don't want to talk about that. The thing is, every time I spoke to someone about hair, they always ended up talking about you. But I don't. You aren't to blame for anything, is that it? Well, I am willing to believe you, but you do know more than you're telling, and I need to hear it. Very well. You're right. And what would you like to know about hair? How were things between you and hair back then? There was nothing between us. Hannikin Hare impressed my father with all his talk of noble blood. But I couldn't stand him. And I didn't want to marry him. And then it made no odds after he ran away. So you didn't want him? I only ask because I've heard differently. That's village talk. Of course folk gossip. Mostly they just want to hurt Nicholas. Did Hare really commit the murder? God in heaven, how should I know? Anyway... It doesn't matter now. That remains to be seen. What did you talk about in the woods with Hannikin Hair? I see Betty's mouth's been busy. Don't blame her. I had to work hard to weasel it out of her. Now tell me. Oh, all right. Well, it seems Hannikin Hare's exile has addled his brain. He told me he'd go off with me, that he still loves me and nonsense like that. And what about you? What do you mean? I was so shocked, I couldn't even scream. Is that all he told you? He said if I change my mind, I'm to hang a garland of forget-me-nots on the house and wait for him at that place of ours. What's a forget-me-not? Like, what kind of flower is that? Where was it you saw him exactly? I wish I could tell you. The whole thing was like a fever dream. I almost got lost trying to get out of the forest. Even if I remembered, it wouldn't be any use to you. Hannikin Hare moves through the forest like a ghost. He knows every tree root off by heart. Hmm. That will be everything. Take care. Can I? Can I? Can I still tell her to? Yeah, I can. Goodbye. Because uh, if she hang, hangs the garland, uh, he will go and try to meet with her but obviously I first need to know where to go to find him so apparently I forgot to ask Betty about that place she saw him at mm, so let me try getting back to that Thank <laughs> you. 
What was that? I've got a few questions about these poachers. So ask. I heard you saw something fishy in the forest. That's right, I did. Can you describe what you saw? It was after dark, I remember that. I went up past the castle, along by the clearing, and I saw someone had lit a fire, and there were figures singing and dancing, and I could hear the whistling of a pipe. And I could smell roast meat. It was like a feast of some sort. Only I thought maybe it was some witch's sabbat, so I was afraid to stay too long in case they saw me. Where is the clearing? A short walk north of the castle. There's a track past the woodcutter's camp that takes you there. Thanks. Did you recognize anyone there? Someone from the village, maybe? No. Like I said, it was dark. All I could see was shadowy figures moving around. Did you hear any familiar voices? No, no. But I heard girls' laughter. Goblets clinking, a piper playing. It sounded just like any feast. What do you make of this poaching that's been going on? It's clear as day. Hannikin hair's back. Okay, I asked about all of that already. That's all I need. Thanks. Good luck then. So... Mother of uh, God! North past the castle... And past a woodcutter's camp. So... Right here is the woodcutter's camp. Oh, it even highlights for me. That's, that's a bit maybe too convenient. But, oh well. It's, uh, I'm, I'm not going to pretend like I don't need it. Like, I'm, I'm horrendous at pathfinding. So, you know, uh, it is what it is. Let me ask uh, Margaret. Where is she? What? Oh, 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 oh. Mm. Okay, I won't be f able to find her now because my quest log. My quest log no longer points to her. Okay, this is pretty bad because I, I wanted her to, to hang out the garland so that. Uh, so that Hanekin hair actually shows up, but I, I'll never be able to find her now. Like, uh, last time I saw her, she went kind of this way with a pitcher and isn't that the road to to the huntsman's house so maybe she just went back home and that would be pretty convenient for me Indeed, she did. I want to talk a little more about Hanakin Hare. Oh, very well. What do you want to know? I want you to hang that garland on the lodge. But I don't want to go anywhere with him. You don't have to go anywhere. But tell me, where is that secret meeting place of yours? On the way to Ujitz. Back then, we used to meet by the great big beech tree, right next to the wayside shrine. There's a lovely view there, you see. And what time will he be waiting there for you? At dawn. What are you going to do to her? Never you mind. The main thing is it will all get sorted out. And that's all that matters, isn't it? I suppose so. Very well, then. I'll hang the garland for you. That'll be everything. Goodbye. Mm, okay. Uh, okay, so, so it's relatively close-ish to his encampment anyway. I'm currently right here, which is the exact 
opposite side of where I'm supposed to be. So, I need to go right and then turn back near the another shrine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah those, those are the couple of houses, and then it should go into the forest uh, past the woodcutter's camp. Indeed, this is the this is the woodcutter's camp. Uh, okay, I'm supposed to go left. Wait. Yeah. What? Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm right here. Yeah. Hmm. And this goes deeper into the forest. Yeah. Those guards? Nope. What's your game, you beggar? We've got a job to do. Last year, the fuck off, cunts! They're bandits. How did I miss? Point blank. Hmm. Okay, I've committed an act of poaching uh, right in the view of the guards. <laughs> I, I didn't really think about it. Uh, when I was doing it, uh, but hopefully they won't actually care uh, on account of, of me saving their lives. Good boy. That's my boy. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this.
Uh, explore the clearing. supposed to find something here right otherwise why would the game even send me here get him and I'm not exactly sure what is it I'm looking for That's my boy. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. Okay, I have a dog perk. Your dog, dog will growl to warn you of nearby proximity of enemies. Your dog is able to sniff out interesting places. With your best friend's help, nothing will escape you. Okay, this is pretty interesting. So I guess he he will if I if I command him to seek, he will sniff out the nearest relevant map marker, which is actually very useful for someone like me specifically, because I'm ridiculously bad at finding my way. Let's see what you can sniff out here. Seek. And also, I don't know what I'm look. Oh, oh, there's something hidden in here. That's a carcass of a deer. What does that tell me specifically? Like, what? What kind of use do I get out of it? Uh, what will he comment in his uh, in his diary on the? Uh, searching the clearing where the feast was held has borne fruit. I found what what were clearly bones of of a deer concealed in a hole in the ground. Sure enough, it was poachers feasting, or at least someone in league with them. Yeah, but uh, I knew that much. Like the, clearly, there's been a party going on here because there's like uh, um, there's uh, like bits of food left and like mugs. Like wh what? What did? What did finding that uh, specifically help me with? Because it seems to me like it's nothing, right? There's a good doggy. That's my boy. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. Okay, but mm, I still have 
some way to go until I reach the place where I'm supposed to meet with Hanekin here. Because I'm currently like like right here or something. I might go by the, by the herbalist and do some alchemy on the alchemy bench. But I am going to do that next time. For now, I will drink Savior Schnapps because I haven't... I haven't saved in quite a bit, uh, and I'll end it here. That's all for this one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.